Hey YouTube, it's Janessa Shakur back with another video and as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a what's on my iPad. So, the iPad I have is a 10th generation iPad, it, which is the pink one as well. I'm a pink girly if you couldn't tell. But just showing you guys cool apps that you guys can get for school, editing, just life in general. And also um, cheap items that you guys can buy for your iPads that won't be costing you 100, 200 plus dollars just to get the bare minimum for your setup. So with further ado, like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into the video. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with my lock screen right here. It's pretty simple, it's black. It says, this is my world. Um, I said Gemini iPad because I am a Gemini. And just a little picture of me. My other lock screen is just a picture of me and my friend in Miami. It's just pretty simple. Because I did update my iPad today um, to iOS 17.1 or 5.1. So that just allowed me to get widgets on the home screen. Because before that, before today, I was not able to put widgets. And I was trying so hard, but now I like, got the hang of that. So we're going to start with... So I. On my home screen, I have Genesis Shakur in gray and black because my aesthetic for on my iPad is kind of like a black, gray, and white kind of look I'm going for because it just gives like clean, neat, and just looks good. So I have start with my YouTube name, Genesis Shakur. I have the time, my health card picture, and then beside it, I just have like the date with like the calendar. And I have my YouTube search bar, so it's just easier to access YouTube whenever I'm just trying to get on the app and whatnot. Then I have God is good, cause I just thought that was a cute little thing, cause I love God, I pray every day, and I just thought it was like cute, and it went with my aesthetic as well. Then I have a picture of me, and my friend. I have my YouTube sign. I have like this little cute picture of like the angel wings and stuff. I'm married and five star. So these, all these pictures besides the ones of me, obviously I did get them from Pinterest or Google. So if you're just trying to find your aesthetic or trying to find like pictures that go with your aesthetic you can definitely use pinterest or google and just search up specific things that you want and sometimes you can even get in png if you want to but like that just depends on like how you want your aesthetic so the next page i have here is another picture of me and then i have like this little bar at the top and that's just like so when i check my airpods or have my like apple watch on or whatever it tells me like the percentage of my stuff so i don't have to like go on it and check especially when i'm using my ipad um, next I have content creator because I'm really just trying to get my YouTube to get out there and just like flourish and like just be everywhere and just so it's just natural because I really love doing YouTube. I like talking. I just like all that good stuff. Okay, so I also have like this little picture I also got from Pinterest called Star Girl, and I just thought it goes with the aesthetic as well, black and white. So now getting into the app. So here I have just writing. This is like for my school stuff, but I also have Widget Smith here. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this um how to get the widgets and whatnot on your home screen so like for me for example i just made my widgets i just get the picture go to small widget and then you could just tap photo and then you're just able to add the pictures that you're like looking for or the pictures that you want if you're looking to add the words on your lock screen you sc scroll to the top and you see lock screen and you could just add text with widget minutes you do countdowns it's really just up to you honestly so however you want to do that, you can. But yeah, that's just how I got the words and all that cute stuff to just give it an aesthetic that I want that matches my iPad. So next, I just have my Apple apps. I do not really use these. I so I just have them in the small box because I don't use them that much. Now to the apps that I use. So YouTube is definitely a big one for me. I always be on here trying to find video ideas and just like trying to find an aesthetic for my YouTube channel because I'm still working on finding a cute aesthetic that just looks good and natural and I'm just really trying right now. So as you guys can tell, I did change my banner again and my profile picture, but I might change my profile picture again only because I don't like it that much. But other than that, I do use YouTube a lot. These are like the people that... Um, I'm subscribed to and like a lot of people that I've watched and that I do watch and all that stuff but because I do try to watch YouTube a lot more now especially just learning on learning um good ways to edit how to get people to be engaged and just stuff like that 
So next I have CapCut, and this is where I edit all my videos. I don't have anything editing right now because after I'm done, I delete it because it does happen to take up a lot of storage on my iPad. So if you are looking to get an iPad, definitely get um, an iPad with more storage, especially if you're editing and stuff like that. So Netflix is definitely a big used app on my iPad. Um, personally, I'm watching Sing 2 right now. And I'm just like a big Netflix person. I love cartoons. I love just watching scary like psychology, psychological thrillers and all that good stuff. So this is definitely somewhere I'll be. And if you guys are looking for good Netflix recommendations, I'm definitely the person to ask. I have a whole list on my phone for you guys. And I just love, love, love Netflix. So yeah. Next I have Grammarly. And I definitely use Grammarly on my iPad a lot. I'm not logged in right now only because I logged out because I deleted the app. But other than that, I definitely use Grammarly a lot. It's really easy to submit your work in there and just easy things like that. So I thought I'm probably not logged into either right now. But this is where I download all my um, fonts and stuff for YouTube, school, and just easy things like that because it just gives it a better look and it just has an aesthetic look. And I'm just all about the aesthetic and all that stuff. I love this game, Happy Color. It is so fun. I just love it so, so much. This you're just gonna, it's pretty easy, it's pretty fun. And you usually use your pen for this, but you just wanna like tap the colors basically and just fill them until the whole circle is filled up. But it's like really soothing, especially if like you're a really calm person and whatnot like that. It like really helps with like your nerves and stuff. So that's why I really have it, honestly. Next I have Ch ChatGPT is like a lifesaver for me honestly because it's just like so helpful whether you're looking for ideas whether you're looking for answers like whatever you're looking for chat gbt will give you and that's why i just love it it's literally the best app like i could be like what's a good netflix movie let's see trailer of chicago 7 extraction comedy see but like this is what i mean like chat just gives you everything gives information and it just like helps like with so much in general next app i love is canva canva is a lifesaver for thumbnails banners anything school projects all of that okay <sighs> let me show you guys this is where i made my banner this is where i make all my banners i don't want to go anywhere else to make banners one two this is where I make all my school projects, all my school layouts, and that's how I get A's because this app is just the best, for example. Then, next, this is just where I make everything, like thumbnails, as you guys can see here, edit things to make sure they're PNGs, all that good stuff. So anything you need for editing-wise, go to Canva. It's the place to go. And it's just somewhere I want to be. Like, this is my vision board I had to make for school and just things like that. But, trust me, Canva is a great app. And it's just very, I feel like not that many people use it and they should. I just have my Gmail on here, you know, emails and whatnot. Indeed. And I also have Notion. Okay, y'all. Notion is a good app. Everyone talks about it. But no one talks about how hard it is to use Notion. And how hard it is to set up your things and all that. So here I have my setup. I have my YouTube banner back there, personal home video. I have my little quote. Ooh. God is within me. I will not fail. I have the time and then I have birthday prep. And I was just like working on my notion, honestly, just working on it to get a more aesthetic look because it is really hard to use. I have a weekly planner here where I just check off the things that I've done throughout the day. And just things like that, just to keep on track. And just like the calendar down here. I also um, realized that you can do a workout plan on here. So they have like all these cool things, 30 day workout. And it's just like upper body, lower body, abs, jogging, rest. Upper body, lower body, abs, jogging, rest. And it's just like trying to help you. Especially if you don't really know like workout ideas. I'll definitely link this down below if you need like workout ideas. But these ones are really, really good. Because, like, they're just so detailed and they just, like, help you, like, really, like, 
lock in and like especially if you're someone that's not really like consistent with like workouts and stuff like that it definitely helps help with that so it definitely just makes everything a lot easier and then this was like the yearly planner i was trying to finish but it was just so hard to just get everything to work on notion but notion is definitely a good app that you should get so on this last page of my ipad i have note to self you that mama because it's just like a cute little reminder like remember like you're that girl you're just that picture of me here and then i have you must bring something to the table and it's just like a little text i got the both of those pictures i got from pinterest and the one of me i took on my camera but like overall i just thought that was cute so on here i have my notes and for my notes i mostly use it for youtube planning on um, my youtube like text at the bottom of my videos and just like and just like content that i want to do but like overall that's just like for my planning and notes and stuff like that my pinterest i love 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 pinterest pinterest is the best app ever y'all if y'all want to follow me because i do have a lot of inspo um this is my username ogdrc1 and i just have everything i have hair pins notion pins i don't know oh there healthy um motivation food outfit ideas ig model poses dorm rooms quotes literally everything you can think of that you will need it will be on here and girl i'm the queen of hair inspo so if you need hair inspo natural hair wigs curly wigs straight wigs braids short hair long hair i definitely have the pinterest for you and i'm telling y'all pinterest is literally the best app ever i just love it so much so if you're looking for like a pinterest to like be inspired by you definitely should come to my page only because i just have like a variety of things so it would just definitely help with that i download these games on my ipad don't ask me why i downloaded these games on my ipad because i really just don't know i'm not gonna okay so it loaded this is called a sh it's, a, it's just a cooking game i'm like I'm just showing you guys. I redownloaded it recently, so that's why. But this is just a cooking game you can play whenever you feel. And it's just like fun. It's just funny because like you would usually think children play these games, but it's like no. But I don't know why I'm playing this game right now. As if I'm not doing YouTube video. Okay, let me get off. Okay, anyway. So that was just like a game that I have on my iPad. But moving on to good notes. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Y'all think Notion is all this. This is all that. But girl, let me tell you why you guys are missing out on good notes, y'all. This is so cute and easy and simple to use when I tell you guys. If you guys are just trying to plan like little things or just trying to get yourself back on track or just trying to like, you know, get in that sort of like aura. Now this is that. So starting with this is a little schedule I just try to write up real quickly. But so this is like my weekly schedule, Monday, Tuesday, blah blah blah. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, blah blah blah. <laughs> it's just like little things that I'm trying to do within this month. But let me show y'all the real thing. Where you can add photos, you can add words, you can do anything, highlight. No, you can do school notes on here. You can do anything on here, honestly. But this is what I've done here. So this is kind of like a birthday prep in a way. Not really, but this is just like my vision board kind of just to make sure everything's in order. And just so that I can get everything, order everything, and just see what I'm missing to what I'm not missing. So that's mostly why I have this app. And I just thought it was so cute because just like, bam, vision board, bam get my stuff done bam this is what you gotta do put all your stuff together put all your stuff together because i just like having everything visual i'm visual so this is like definitely something that helps me a lot and i really just like this app like you can really do anything on here quick note study set folder image anything you really need but on that app you can only do three whole notebooks but like within the notebooks you can do like little pages so i might just get, put my schedule and birthday prep as one book and just put it as a life like if you understand what i'm trying to get at here 
Um, last I have a health app on here. I think they just added this with the update because I was not on here before. So I think it's just getting all my data and information on here. But it's just like the health app, so nothing special about that. And then I have my Sheen app. So I haven't really bought anything on my Sheen app, but I'm just getting ready for my birthday. So I'm just like trying to get everything in my car and just little things like that. But yeah, so next I was going to show you guys that I don't have anything in my camera. Y'all, it's literally nothing. I only have like... 55 items but i think my phone is syncing with my camera and i my icloud and i don't want that because it takes up more storage because i have like 30,000 photos so i'm not trying to have that sync right now but yeah overall that is my ipad and also guys if you're looking for inspo for your ipad for ipad if you're looking for inspo for ipad like wallpaper and stuff you can definitely go on pinterest because just search up ipad wallpaper aesthetic and you'll find everything that you need on there if you're looking for like a certain look but you don't know what that look is yet you can definitely go on um the app so next i'm gonna be showing you guys the accessories y'all don't be spending so much money on accessories for your ipad rule number one this case I got on Sheen for like $2 and it's a cute little bubbly case as you guys can tell it's like a 3D bubble case you can just push that in. The next case I have two cases for my iPad. That's just like an everyday fashion day not doing school work case. This is my school work case. It's a Spider-Man one and it just like sits up here. That's what I mean school work so I'm able to put my keyboard on here and I'm about to show you guys that in a second but this is just the case just like that. that's the front so next for the keyboard you might not you guys might not be able to see it because it's white okay this is my keyboard i got it for 5.99 on amazon i will link all these down below i got it for 5.99 on amazon you don't need to pay 200 300 for a keyboard for your ipad that works perfectly fine it's bluetooth it's a magnetic key, um keyboard so it sticks on here and it stays on there I'm just trying to show you. And it stays on the case. So you guys don't need to spend 500 how many ever dollars you guys get on the keyboard and the case. Next is the Apple Pen. I got this on Sheen for like about $5.99. You guys don't need to be paying so much money just for an Apple Pen. It works perfectly fine. And I will show you guys on my iPad. Let me just go on yeah it works perfectly fine you just tap the button at the top and it comes with the same charger as the ipad once the blue light is on that means it's working and look at that I'm trying to show you. it's just so hard to show you guys but you see that working perfectly fine and you can just erase it i just want to show you guys that it worked and i got this for 5.99 on at sheen sorry I think five ninety nine about like that price. Five ninety nine on chain, so it works perfectly fine. You don't need to spend that much money on. Okay. The only thing I got from Apple besides the iPad for an accessory was this. This is for my cam. If you're a vlogger or you do YouTube or anything like that, and you're trying to upload videos from your camera to your iPad, you definitely want to get this just because the port. It makes it way easier. You just put the SD card in here and you plug it into your iPad and it all goes to your files. So if you're a YouTuber and you're trying to do that stuff, this is definitely what you'll use. Thank you so much for watching my What's on My iPad featuring the accessories and basically just how to give your iPad that aesthetic vibe or aesthetic look. So thank you for watching. Feel free to share this video. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you.